Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It's Tuesday, August 13th. Here are your morning headlines. A semi-crash this morning closed westbound US 30 for several hours. The crash happened at 30 and Flaw Road just after 4 this morning. The crash sent the driver of the semi to a hospital. Please say two semi semis rather were traveling west on 30 and collided. One caught fire. Both drivers had minor injuries. One refused treatment and one did go to the hospital. US 30 has since reopened. The Fort Wayne Community School Board met for an open work session to discuss the expansion of the district's AMP Lab. Director Riley Johnson explained last night the AMP Lab is currently at full capacity, which is around 400 students. Leaders see AMP Lab continuing to grow every year and are looking to expand to building 25 on the Electric Works campus. The additional space would allow 80 additional students to enroll. AMP Lab is looking for approval for the from the August 26 FWCS school board meeting. Coming up later today, West Central Fire Department Department is hosting a press conference about their possible location for a station and EMS center. Plus tonight on city council, the discussion for Brewer Park renovations will be up and Trek to the Trails will be happening tonight at Renaissance Point YMCA. And it'll be a beautiful evening for Trek the Trails tonight. We have two beautiful evenings ahead of us. There are some showers and storms on the way later on this week, of course. And then we also have some humidity coming into the area on Friday. And taking a look at Storm Tracker right now, things are looking all quiet. Again, that systems just keep popping up off to the west, but they're not going to be affecting us in any way. Uh, we will be quiet for much of the day. If anything, it's going to bring us some clouds in the afternoon, much like yesterday, and maybe a very small chance to see a shower tonight, but it'll be very scattered and it will not be widespread by any means. Looking at Storm Tracker closer to our area, just some clouds being picked up to the south. If we take a look outside at Parkview Field in just a minute, we'll get a better picture of that. Look at all that sunshine we'll have this afternoon and later parts of this morning. Temperatures to day rising to the lower 80s so it'll be a gorgeous day look at that park we feel looking glorious this morning beautiful blue skies tin caps back in town today for a homestand be a great evening for a baseball game and looking at your exclusive 10-day forecast Rinse and repeat for tomorrow. Pretty much the same forecast for us. And then on Thursday, we start to see those showers move into the area. We'll dip down into the mid to upper 70s. And then Friday, that's when we'll see that humidity. We'll see temperatures into the lower 80s once again. And we continue to see rain chances and storm chances on Saturday with mid to upper 70s again. And that'll stay that way for uh, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. But we lessen those shower chances once we get into the start of next week. So hanging around that same temperature wise for the rest of the week uh, today and tomorrow will be our warmest for the week uh, we will be warm on Friday and it'll feel warmer as well because of that humidity but we do have those shower and storm chances we'll see you back here at noon in the meantime have a great morning